Because that fear of my son being identified as a black person and treated differently because he's identified as a black person, that fear I may not ever feel. And I felt really What's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. So in the middle of this pandemic and, and this crazy time of trying to get out and get on working, my son is still training for football. In fact, he's still working out uh, with the 7-on-7 seven -seven football team, right? So we have to drive 30 minutes twice a week uh, in the evening for him to go work out. I love it, though, right? Because while many kids... Many people, if you watch my webinar, many people are using this time to feel sorry for themselves. Right? My son's trying to get better. My son's trying to do whatever he can amidst the constraints to get better at what he wants to be. And that's a college and then one day professional football player. So I'm, I'm extremely pleased, even though it's challenging and I'm always in the middle of doing something when we have to go. I'm blessed to have a son and a daughter and a family and a wife that wants to get better. So, quick story. On this day, uh, last week, we got to go up to San Jose, uh, about 30 minutes from where I live, to go to go train, right? We get in my car. I'm running late, as I always do. You guys know me. I'm always late. I'm running late. Uh, I get in the car. I got my, I got my, 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 my amino acids. I got my, my protein snacks, right, to make sure wherever I go out, I make sure I'm ready to avoid any, any indulgence in carbohydrates. I got my beef jerky, I got my pro, um, uh, my amino acid drink, I got my water, I got my, my mask, I'm ready to go. I get in the car, you know, I put my seatbelt on, he buckles up, we back up, we start going. Now my car, it's, it's not a mess, but it ain't super neat, like my dad. My dad is a neat freak, like he a military guy, his car, I can't even, I don't even touch stuff in his car. I sit like this, right? My car is not dirty, but it ain't my dad's. So I got stuff everywhere. So I'm driving, because I'm already late. I'm driving, I'm trying to organize stuff as I go. Seatbelt on, drinking cup holder. Um, you know, my phone's propped up, right, on, on my dashboard. And I put my wallet, I never put my wallet anywhere except on my lap or in on the side door or right in the area between my shift and the console, right? It kind of just sits there. But today there's so much crap in my car that I decide, and I never do this, I decide to put it in the compartment, right? The compartment that's between me and the passenger seat, right? So I'm driving, I'm backing up, I'm, I'm trying to navigate and coordinate as I go. I lift it up and I put my wallet in there. As soon as I close it, my son says, Dad, maybe you shouldn't put it in there. I'm, I'm not even sure why he's asking. I'm like, why? Why, son? Why? Why? I mean, why? He's like, he says to me, in case you get pulled over, I don't want you to have to reach for your wallet. Now you guys know about two months ago, I did a couple of videos, right? One of which was the realization in a moment that my son who's half black does not have to face some of the things that African-Americans have to face when they, when they drive, when they're out in public. Because on appearance, he doesn't appear to be black unless you know he's black. And I remember on the video, I told you guys that part of me felt a sense of relief because that fear of my son being identified as a black person and treated differently because he's identified as a black person, that fear I may not ever feel. And I felt relieved. And I told you guys I felt better but then I felt immediate guilt because I have many friends who are black, who have married black women, who do have black kids, who do face that fear. And so that was about two months ago, three months ago. 
And so when he said that to me, I, I paused as I'm pausing now. And I thought about it. I'm, I'm happy and please, pleased that I don't have to face the fear of my son being mistreated. I'm, I'm happy and blessed that I don't, in those contexts, have to fear for his life. But I never, ever, ever thought in my wildest dreams, in my wildest dreams, that my son would fear for my life.